As promised, this is a video on how to set up a cooler door. Okay, now, I think the best economical way to do this and to get the best bang for your buck is simply, if you have a Walmart nearby, grab one of these 120 quart coolers for $54 add some tax depending where you are what's the most uh, 57 58 dollars definitely less than 60 dollars and you got yourself a huge monstrous cooler all right so that's the first thing obviously you have to do okay just like my other video you see very spacious very spacious now first thing you should do is clean this out because it still has the factory smell and you don't want that infiltrating and affecting your cigars so what you should do is add some uh, dishwasher detergent fill it up suds it all around get a rag a clean rag and just wipe everything clean it off clean it off dump the water make sure you open the drain let everything flow rinse rinse everything and then let it dry okay if I have the chance I'll, I'll actually show you how I clean it okay alright I'm gonna pause this video for the next step Time to clean this up. A little bit of dishwasher detergent. rag
All right, that should do it. Yeah, that's my coal bin, my other video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Okay, now. All right, I'm gonna take off the plug. Let it all drain. In the meantime, I'll start rinsing. Hopefully it stays. So now, I just let it dry. That should probably take 15-20 eh, minutes. If you want to speed it up, just get a dry rag and just dry up everything in the inside. I might do that, but I have other things to do. All right, uh, I'll leave now and I'll get back to you later with the next process. Thanks. Okay, and we're back. I thought I'd show you uh, what I have right now of what I'm gonna put in the new cool door. All right, just a little show of what I have currently. Okay, here's a uh, a Toro Fuentes Anejo in Corona. I got a Oliva Series V Madura Speciale, the 2013. These are in robusto size. 
got uh, a box of Rocky Patel decades in torpedo Uh, CAO Extreme and Robusto. Here's a tin of uh, Liga 9's Papa Fritas. Well, they say those are the clippings of the remnants of the Liga 9's, and then they made these little guys. All right. A box of GAR opiums in Robusto, limited edition. I got an assortment pack of sand crystal bonds, various sizes, and just a bunch of samplers. Got a Leva samplers, two pack. A uh, bunch of other stuffs over here. These are Magnus, Casa Magnus, Oscuro, and Torpedo. Oh boy, a whole bunch of stuff that I gotta sort out. Okay. Over here, these are Tre Reñas. In torpedo. Oh yeah, by the way, Cigar International, another excellent place. Cigar International, uh, best cigar prices, famous smoke shop, smoke in, all fantastic, wonderful. Now, oh, before I forget, I use Little Pearls for the humidity. Got one of these. All right, um, brand new pantyhose. Don't use <laughs> used pantyhose. You don't want your cigar smelling like feet. No, you don't want that. And what I did is I filled it up. I think this is probably half a pound. And I soaked them three quarters of distilled water and the, the rest dry. I'm gonna throw in also these uh, water pillows I have. Water pillows. Humor cares. I'm going to chuck them all in there because I want to bump up the humidity so that all the boxes can stabilize and the cooler can come to a relatively humidity. I'm aiming for 65 to 68. Even if it's 70, I'm fine with that. But I definitely don't want to go more than that. Some people go with 72. I don't know. Personally, I think that's a little too much. But, whatever. Oh, another thing about the Little Pearls. Okay, uh... What's the name of that thing? Uh, Heart? Ay, jeez. Anyway. I just remembered before, and... I completely forgot. You know what? As soon as I remember, I'll just I'll just put a note at the bottom. Heartfelt. Is that it? Heartfelt. Heartfelt. I believe it's heartfelt. Humidifying pearls. All right? If I remember correctly, you're talking about what? 20 bucks for a pound, I think. Don't quote me at that, but they're expensive. To me, I think they're very expensive. 
that might become a a joke because I do have all these cigars <laughs> worth hundreds all right but I look at it this way I'm looking at value this this seven pounder cost me shipped uh, around twenty four dollars seven pounds the her the heartfelts is what around twenty bucks for one pound hey I'd rather get the most for my money all right and like I said half a pound three quarters full I'm gonna chuck in the pillows too and hopefully within a day or two I'll get the 65 to 70 I'll be alright okay here's the cooler that's the one I showed you before here's the other one all ready to go okay so let's see if I could angle this nicely Hopefully that stays. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to pause. Not get All right, sorry about the delay, but filling us up took a while, so I was not going to keep you waiting on the uh, previous video all right as you can see all right there it is all right it's already bumping up to 61 all right all the way down below I put the uh, uh, the pillows let me see if I can find one yeah here we go yeah just stick them in there just to bump up the humidity and bring and stabilize the, the cooler door and that's it that's all she wrote very easy extremely economical and I highly recommend again the kitty litter it never goes bad you keep using it and using it and if you have multiple cool, uh, cooler doors or humidors or whatever and you want to make new uh, pouches there you go definitely uh, definitely cheaper than uh, heartfelt alrighty hope this helped leave a comment whatever you want to do thank you very much